lunch today at Paddlefish and we're gonna bring you along with us. And we're very excited. It's our first time eating here. We've yeah. eaten at a few other Disney Spring restaurants and all of them are very good. So we are very excited about giving this place a go. Yeah, we are. So let's go. Here's kind of a quick shot of their menu. This is their dinner menu if you're interested. Up here, as you can see, there's plenty of seating. It's a pretty chill spot. We're on the top of the boat to paddle fish. And um, it's a good place, I think, to kick back and relax if you want to enjoy a drink and get away from all the hustle and bustle of the people walking around Disney Springs. I think it would be great to hang out up here at night. Over here, we got a bar um, inside the boat, but then you got windows here where they can serve the drinks to you outside. You got bar seating over here as well, and um, it actually holds a lot of people up here. Um, it showed maximum occupancy of 137, so I would be really, really happy to come here at night and just kick back and relax on a nice night with nice weather and have some good drinks. <laughs> show you guys our table. We got an awesome view. And they give you bags to put your masks in. How fancy is that? <laughs> what did you get to drink? I got a strawberry lemon basil with Sprite and vodka drink. I'm trying to keep it tropical. Mm -hmm. See how it tastes. A little basil in there. It's good. Very refreshing. Very smooth. I'm not sure which vodka is in it. Probably house. But it tastes fine. It tastes good. I got the white sangria. It has snacks in it. Mmm, that's very good. Very refreshing. I can taste the orange juice. It's a very subtle wine flavor. And you get an orange, a raspberry, and a blackberry in it. I'm gonna try Dave's. I can taste the basil in it. You don't like that, do you? For Dave's second drink, he got an Angry Orchard. Because I love cider, and the people that know me know I love cider, and I like these glasses. All right, for our appetizer, we got two, so that we could show you guys a little variety. We got the beef skewers. Which is marinated in barbecue sauce and topped with some onions. And then we also got the crab cakes, which is on top of their, looks like their bacon sucker tack. Edamame, edamame bacon succotash. Smoked edamame bacon succotash. And it looks really good. It's calling my name. Both are calling my name. I'm not messing around. Mm. The beef skewers are cooked perfectly. At least for me. She likes stuff rare. I like my medium or medium well. They're cooked perfectly. They're very tender. I don't know what they marinated their meat in, but it's very good. Take that whole thing if you will eat it. It's a fried tomato. Mmm. That's a perfectly cooked piece of meat right there. I'm going to dig into the crab cake. Looks like it comes on top of a fried green tomato with their bacon edamame bacon succotash, but I don't see any edamame, so I don't think that's what it is. Corn. I see some red peppers. 
definitely very delicious. I took all of the fried green tomato because I know they won't eat it. He doesn't like tomatoes at all. Very good. It's cornmeal breading and the tomatoes tangy. It's a green tomato. It's delicious. It's mostly crab. Let's see if I can show you a piece. That is all crab, hardly any bread. Now I'm going to go ahead and dig into this crab cake, see what this is all about. As most of you know, I'm originally from Maryland and I love a good crab cake. So we're going to see what paddlefish has on crab cakes. It's good. It's good. Um, Definitely a good, legit Maryland crab cake is definitely better, but this is this is good. It's good. I would definitely get it again. And I do like the corn succotash that the crab cake is on. All of it's good. I'm gonna try some of the beef skewers. I'm try to get some of the meat and the onions all in one bite. Because I like pickled onions. Dave does not. It's very delicious. The beef is cooked perfectly, very tender. The like barbecue it. sauce is really good. Yeah, I like their sauce. Excellent appetizers. I would definitely order them again. The next time we come back, I want to try the calamari. Those appetizers were absolutely delicious. I'm excited about what I got. I got the bacon, corn, edamame succotash. And I love edamame. And this is hot. These, these bacon, look at these chunks of bacon. Look how big they are. And everyone loves bacon. If they don't, oh, drop the corn. If they don't, something's wrong with them. Mmm. I can eat that as an entree. Good, juicy, flavorful. It's amazing, just like me. For my meal, I got a shrimp linguine pasta, which it has Florida rock shrimp. It comes with asparagus, but I really don't like asparagus. So I got green beans, and then it has tomatoes. But I'm gonna give Tiffany the tomatoes. She doesn't know it yet, but. I guess now she does. It's very good. The shrimp are cooked perfect. They have a lot of flavor. The linguine tastes like just regular old linguine, but I don't know what oil they have on top of the linguine noodles, but it does have a good flavor. For my entree, I got the cod stuffed with shrimp and scallop cornbread stuffing, and it does come with potatoes. Y'all know I've been doing keto, so I am cheating today. I'm doing it for YouTube. It comes with asparagus as well. That's some of the best fish I've ever put in my mouth. It's very easy to overcook fish. This is cooked perfectly. The cornbread stuffing gives it, gives it a little bit of sweetness and it has like a Creole mustard sauce on it. And it gives it just a little bit of tanginess and all the flavors combined together are so good. The potatoes are very good. They're buttery and creamy. I have a bite of Dave's pasta. That is delicious. The pasta is cooked perfectly. The shrimp is very tender and it has like a lemon sauce on it, which is also very good. And he gave me all of his tomatoes because he doesn't like tomatoes and I love tomatoes. I'm going to try some of the edamame bacon succotash. Mm -hmm. That is really good. 
the bacon mix and then with the corn and out of edamame mixed in there. Perfect amount of salt. And everything is good. I'm glad I got the bacon edamame, the smoked edamame bacon succotash because it's good. I can eat that as a meal and bacon makes everything better. Everything is super fresh. I really wanted a burger, but when I come to the paddlefish, they're known for seafood, so I didn't want to get a burger. I wouldn't have to go walk off all these calories with all these noodles. So this is something I'd probably order more, more in line for dinner, not for lunch again, but it is delicious. Tiffany's eyeballing my noodles. She's always eyeballing my noodle. You want some of these noodles? She wants some of these noodles. You've had one noodle. Boring. Nope. It's shrimp with cornbread stuffing. Cornbread stuffing's good. All right, so that wraps up our lunch at Paddlefish. It was very good. I enjoyed everything. The drinks, the appetizers, the food, just everything in general was delicious. Yes, it was. Um, I think I would eat here again. Dave may not because they don't have as much on their menu that he likes, but I eat anything and I like everything, so I'm not hard to please. I really enjoyed my meal. Um, I, I would eat here again. I think I'll get a sandwich next time just because, you know, we came here to do this review at lunch and um, the meal I got was very heavy. It's something I definitely would eat for dinner. I think next time I would get like a burger or some sort of like a chicken or fish sandwich because all of that stuff did look good as well. So we hope that you like coming along with us for our lunch at Paddlefish. We hope that you'll come to Disney Springs and try it too. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get new notifications yes. or notifications on new content. Correct. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah, bye. Bye. Thank you.